Okay, hey y'all. I was out. Hi. So I was out today on a slight road trip and I had a very small budget of spending money. And I stopped by a Goodwill that I found out in the country there. And I was looking around, found a few computer games, and then I saw they had some uh, old albums of 78s. And I found these really nice. Brunswick books. They were actually, I didn't realize until I bought this home that it was an alphabetical sort of one, and this is D. Um, and I was looking through them, and I saw that on a lot of them, oh, and they're, they were $4.99 each, by the way. And I was looking through them, and I found some good records, and I decided, man, I'm going to buy one. Um, my budget was $3, but I had a 20% off coupon and a 10% off coupon. So I came in very slightly above three bucks, so I stayed pretty much on budget. Um, anyways, these things were, were double stacked in the sleeves, so there was two 78s in each sleeve here. Okay, so what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 20 78s uh, for just over three bucks. And um, there were several of these books. I didn't have enough money to get all of them, and honestly, I don't want all of them. So I was able to cherry pick through all of them and get the best stuff. So let me show you what I picked. And I'm not going to keep them doubled up in here. Uh, I'm going to pull these out. But let me show you what I got here. So I've got in the first sleeve here, I've got an Arthur Pryor. Uh, this is an old one. Oh, dry those tears on Victor. And there's somebody else on the backside here. Corinne Morgan loves old sweet song. I picked it up for Arthur Pryor. Um, I'm a fan of his old cylinder recordings. Um, it's over the top, sort of turn of the century, 20th century, turn of the 20th century style. Um, but I enjoy it. Keep that one in the book. And this is a really beat up old cameo, but it's a nice looking sleeve. And I'm not a 78 expert by any means. Um, but this one I picked up because it is a Foxtrot. Um, early 20s, most likely. So we've got Sam Lannon and his troubadours with Sweet Sue, Just You. And it's definitely been played, so I'm I'm sure this was a hot dancing record. And then Southbound, um, you know, another Foxtrot uh, jazz sort of sound. And it doesn't look too bad. Some of the shellac is sort of chipping off. Like, I don't know if it chips off, but it seems to wear through at certain spots. Um, but it should be playable. So we'll put that one to the side. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. This is actually my favorite out of the whole batch that I'm most excited about. This gorgeous Vocalion of the Hoosier Hot Shots. The coat and pants do all the work, and the vest gets all the gravy. <laughs> Hot dance with singing, novelty. And when you wore a tulip and I wore a big red rose. Uh, by the Hoosier Hot Shots. Hoosier Hot Shots are one of my all-time favorite bands based solely on the one album that I have. Uh, that's a recording of theirs that I just love. Uh, it's just like a novelty jazz band with um, this crazy guy that's playing a, a washboard with a, with a bunch of bells and horns on it, and he also is the best slide whistle player I've ever heard. Uh, they've got a clarinetist um, and, you know, a bassist. Uh, banjoist, I think, or a guitarist, and I can't remember right now, but these guys just jam, and they're just hilarious, and they're so good. So this I'm just so stoked about. I haven't listened to it yet, but very excited to do so. What else do we have here? A Brunswick, uh, they all last laughed from Shall We Dance by Ira Gershwin and George Gershwin, sung by Fred Astaire with Johnny Green and his orchestra. Johnny Green at the piano. Uh, that's not why I bought this. It does have a chip in it, out of it. Uh, which is, you know, you'll find that a lot. 
doesn't affect the grooves though. But I got it for the song Slap That Bass. Which is, if it's the song that I think that it is, is a great song. I've never heard the Fred Astaire version, but I've heard the, the Ted Weems version and I love it. Vocal and Tap Dancing by Fred Astaire. So actually, I, I like tap dancing, so... And Fred Astaire is obviously super famous, so this is probably really good. Slap that bass. All right. Folder three. On OK. Sam Ash, tenor with orchestra. Old pal, why don't you answer? Um, and I'm in heaven when I'm in my mother's arms by Lewis James. Uh, why did I pick this up? Basically, I was like, well, I gotta fill this thing out, and this one looked super old and maybe slightly interesting. I have no idea. Uh, I've never seen this OK, this particular OK label, so I'm assuming this is older than usual. Um, that's about it. Don't really know much about it. Uh, I'm not familiar with either the songs or the artists. I'm assuming it's not that great. It's probably some sentimental sort of stuff. This, on the other hand, on Decca, Down Home Rag, by Harry Roy and his orchestra. And The King Porter Stomp, by Harry Roy and his orchestra. Um, this is some straight-up jazz, and maybe even some ragtime. Um, straight up my alley. This is probably a really hot record, and I'm very excited to hear it. King Porter Stomp is a very famous song. It's been recorded hundreds of times, I'm sure, by many different artists. So... Super cool, and this down home rag, I mean, can't get any more promising than that. You never know, maybe it's sweet and mellow, but I'm thinking it's a hot dance record. What else we got? Paul Whiteman and his orchestra um, on Columbia. Not a huge Paul Whiteman fan, but I definitely respect what he did, um, and he definitely made some good recordings. This may or may not be one of them. Um, it's hilarious that he has his own, he was so big that he has his own label, which is, which is hilarious. Um, it's got to be from the mid to late 20s, I'm assuming. Oh, no, it says electrical process, so maybe even into the 30s. Fox, Foxtrot vocal refrain. So without a song from Great Day, Sin Una Canción. And Great Day from Great Day. Dia Grandioso. Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. Um, on Columbia. Here's another one on Vocalion. The big chunk out of it. Um, but it's swing, in, or swing Blues number one with Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. And Steel Guitar Rag. Uh, also by Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. Now, this album, this... 78 here is in really good condition other than that giant chunk missing um, which is really unfortunate but it's only taking out a tiny bit of the first maybe two grooves here on this side and a little bit more on this side so that's not too bad and it does have a slight crack but not too bad um, this guy I've definitely heard of this guy before but I don't think I've ever actually heard what he sounds like but uh, if it's the Steel Guitar Rag, I know I love it because I love that song. I've heard, um, you know, Chet Atkins record it and several others, and it's always been an awesome song, so I'm super stoked to hear this. I'm going to give this one the sleeve because it's already damaged enough, and we'll put Paul over here on the stack. Okay, here's another Brunswick. The Brunswick Bulk Colander Company. Kalua from Good Morning Deary. That's sort of a tenor and male trio by William Reese and male trio. Uh, Kalua, that's sort of one of these songs that you always see. Um, what's on the B side? Say It With Music by Irving Berlin. Uh, don't really know if this is going to be good or not. I honestly just picked it up because it's on Brunswick and just because I thought somewhere that maybe these are more valuable for some reason. And it's in really good shape. Uh, it's going to be like some Broadway sort of stuff. Um, like I said, I don't know a ton about 78 collecting. Um, I know some about some of the musicians, but not a, you know, I'm certainly no expert. Um, 
but I had to fill out this book, so this is one of the ones I picked. And here's another one on Brunswick, in pretty good shape. You're Only a Baby Foxtrot by Isham Jones Orchestra, or Isham Jones rather, and Virginia Blues Foxtrot, again by Isham Jones Orchestra. Now this I've definitely heard before, uh, or this Isham Jones, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pretty hot dance record, uh, probably from the 30s. Um, maybe the 40s, but probably from the 30s. And it's in good shape. Definitely been played a bunch of times, a lot of spindle marks on there. Um, so somebody must have enjoyed it. I'm going to put him in a sleeve. What do we have next on Cameo? This is pretty dirty. Coquette by Sam Lannon and his Troubadours. And Never Be Blue by George Hall and his Arcadians. Don't know what the hell this is going to be. It says Foxtrot, so it might be jazz. We'll see. Here we have the Castlewood Marimba Band um, doing a Fox Trot for Dancing Thrills and My Carolina Rose on Brunswick. Um, has potential if it's a Fox Trot. Might be a good record. It's in very good shape. Um, I love the sound of a good marimba player, so definitely I'm giving that a chance. This was a cool one here. Okay, so on Victor here, United States Marine Band. Uh, this is probably a pretty old record. Uh, maybe 100 years old or more, uh, but maybe not. Um, I like marching music. National Emblem March and German Fidelity March by the United States Marine Band. You know, I got it just because, you know, I like marching music and I need something to fill this out. Uh, it might be really good. Lots of times these old marches are just are very close to ragtime in the way they sound. This one. Oh yes, this one. This one was exciting. Look at this old bluebird sleeve. Is that awesome or what? This is amazing. Um, who is this? Ozzy Nelson and his orchestra. Forget if you can, Foxtrot. That's the B side. A side is At Long Last Love by Cole Porter from the musical production You Never Know. Uh, vocal Refrain by Ozzy Nelson. Um, this is a smart looking record. Uh, beautiful. It's a little dusty, there's a slight scratch. But other than that, it's in really good shape. No spindle marks. That sucks about this little scratch, but it doesn't I can't feel it, so it might not cause a problem. Um but the thing I love the most is this fantastic sleeve. I'm gonna put this in plastic. This thing is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Okay. Uh, so I'll put... I'm going to put... Uh, no. I'll put the Marine Band back in there. Why not? Okay, here's another one on... Cameo. Down by the Congo by the Dixie Daisies. Cameo Recording Company. Corporation, rather. Foxtrot with vocal refrain. And my pet, Jack Yellen, wrote this. I'm assuming that's Jack Yellen. With, by Sam Lennon and his troubadours. Uh, don't know what any of this is, but I'm going to give it a shot. Here's another Brunswick. Georgette Foxtrot by Oriole Terrace Orchestra. And Keep on Building Castles in the Air, Foxtrot. Again, by the Oriole Terrace Orchestra. Um, you can see how many times this has been played. If you can get a... If you can, get a, if you can see those spindle marks. Somebody played the heck out of this record. Um, 
I'm hoping they were playing it at parties and people were getting down and getting sweaty. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. Columbia. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's an old newspaper. Looks like an advice column. Oh, and a cartoon, but it's cut off. 1949. Well then, there's a date. Brannavan's X-Ray Shoe Store. Old-fashioned sausage. Sweet. Wholesome. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to set that aside. Okay. Um, Nobody Loves You Like I Do, Foxtrot. By Benny Davis and Harry Axt. By Ted Lewis and his band. Okay, oh, this is great. Okay, this is on Columbia. And Show Me the Way by Ted Lewis and his band. And then we have... Highways are happy ways, Foxtrot, when they lead the way to home. Um, what is that? Alegre Carretera La Que Conduce a Casa uh, by Ted Weems and his orchestra. Vocal refrain by Dusty Rhodes and Parker Gibbs on Victor. Alt uh, and on the B side, we have It Was Only a Sun Shower Foxtrot, again by Ted Weems, Ted Weems and his orchestra. Now, I thought this was so hilarious. These were together. It's Ted Weems and um, Ted Lewis, who, from what I can tell, were both from Chicago and competed against each other at the same time and whose music sounded very similar. And I have a reissue album by, of Ted Weems, what's, what's called Ted Weems, um, but I almost think that it's actually Ted Lewis, and I don't know, and I'm super glad to have these two records to compare the sound and see which one is on. Neither of these songs are on that reissue album, but I'm very excited to listen to these and see which one is actually on that reissue album that I have. The reissue album that I have is fantastic. It's incredibly good. Um, but I bought a, I bought two Ted Weems sort of comeback albums from the 50s and they're awful, awful, awful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm excited to see what's what there. And let me know if you happen to know anything about those two artists. Please let me know. Okay, I'm going to leave this one for last. Um, Columbia Record. Grand Prize Pairs, 1900, 1904, and 1906. Xylophone solo, American P Patrol, played by Howard Kopp. This, to me, looks really old. Columbia Graphophone Company. Um... This might even this is probably a graphophone Columbia record, and then we have Call to Arms, sung by Peerless Quartet, who of course are one of the old old bands. I'm really hoping that this record starts with a introduction, something like Call to Arms, sung by Peerless Quartet, Columbia Records. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this record starts with that because um, I just love that. I don't know why, but I love it. It says it's an imaginative, present-day descriptive selection. Uh, Call to Arms. To me, that sounds like World War One, buddies. Um, and American Patrol. Got to be World War One. That's pretty exciting. Hundred years old. Um, maybe exactly a hundred years old. I'm really stoked for this record. And then this one right here is our last one. It's the spindle marks are insane on this record. It's been played, played to pieces. Almost, and this is Wob Wobbly Walk and Ready for the River by the Wisconsin Roof Orchestra on Broadway Records. Um, never heard of Broadway Records, never heard of the Wisconsin Roof Orchestra, but I'm super excited. I'm assuming that the Wisconsin Roof Orchestra is from Wisconsin so that I could add this to my Wisconsin music collection. So um, it says it's a foxtrot. Maybe this is an old jazz band from somewhere around here, so super excited. Uh, oh wait, who's it say? Vocal Chorus by Henry Bubbles Reber. It's electrically recorded, oh yeah. The New York Recording Laboratories, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Well, what do you know? I wonder if they were at all um, associated with Paramount out of Port Washington. Um, Port Washington, of course, very nearby where I live, one of my favorite places to go visit and hang out for the day. Maybe I'd like to live there someday, but um, cool. I'm super excited for this. It's definitely a Wisconsin relic, so 
right up my alley as I'm a Wisconsin record collector. So there it is. Here's the index. No one ever used it. Um, let's look at this album itself actually for a minute. Like I said, it's a Brunswick album. Okay. So I should only have Brunswick records in here, but unfortunately I'm not that cool. Um, it has the little little ring so you can pull it off your shelf. Okay. It's supposed to be only D's. Uh, I bought it for $4.99 minus all my discounts at Goodwill. Ooh. Lost some bits there, but oh well. Um, one thing about this thing is it just has this amazing smell. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know what that smell is, but it's good. And then the construction of this thing is very sturdy. And if you can see in the center here, You probably can't. Hold on, let me zoom in. Yeah, it's actually built with wood. See that? Look at this. Metal and wood with this nice, like, um, fabric tape and glue. And the paper sleeves are clamped in there with the wood. It's held together with these metal end caps. Really well put together. And um, just in case you're ever wondering, where the phrase album comes from. It's from stuff like this. This is an album of 78 RPM records. So when LPs first came out and you could put an entire album's worth of songs on one record, that's where the phrase album came to refer to an, to an LP or record. Nowadays a CD or even a digital download. So there's your history lesson. Anyways, thanks for watching my 40, or my 78 RPM thrift store Goodwill pickup um, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you want to learn more about any of these specific records please let me know in the comments and uh, I'll get to them first as I go through and make videos about each record. Thanks, bye.